Next, I will address some of the questions and concerns that were submitted. Uh, first one, how, do, how in the world does this compare to your other Fit Yummy Mummy workout plans? As I already said, it compares in the fact that it follows the exact same format. However, now I'm teaching you how to increase the challenge of your workouts by utilizing a wider variety of fat loss tools. And no, these are not 15 minute workouts. Because you are in a gym, you're going to have to allow more time for the setup of your equipment. And when you are lifting heavier, your work and rest periods are going to increase slightly. So that's gonna add time to your workout. You might find that from a, you go from a 15 minute short burst strength training workout to a more of a 30 minute full body strength training workout where you're allowing those recovery periods in between your supersets. So for the next concern that came in, they're like, well, these are gonna have to be longer than 15 minutes for me to justify spending extra money on a gym membership. I don't wanna spend that monthly fee and just go in and out of the gym in 15 minutes. You can be rest assured that you'll, you'll make the most of your time within the gym. I, in, the, in the videos when I talk about readiness assessment, and equipment and setup, I suggest that you allow at least 45 to 60 minutes when you walk into the door of the gym. That includes your warm up, setting up your equipment, going through the actual workout, and then taking the time to cool down. I suggest that you do it there if you have the time. If not, you can always do it when you get back home. But that kind of gives you an idea of the window of time that you need. How many days a week? Same philosophy, three days a week. And I'll tell you what, I utilize my gym membership less more now that I'm able to get outside. And I don't spend any more than three to four days a week at the gym. So for the concern of, gosh, that's a lot of work to maintain a body like that. I don't have the time to spend hours hours a week in the gym. So the misinformation that, wow, that's a lot of work to maintain that type of body. This is the body that I have right now, and I'm not spending more than three days a week doing strength training in a gym. In fact, I'm not always there three days a week. Sometimes I'm here. Sometimes I'm filming another workout. When I say at most, I'm at the gym four days a week because I take yoga. That's the other benefit of the why, is that you can add in extra activities that help complement your fitness and fat loss workout plan. So at most, I spend four hours a week at the gym and that's when I'm doing all of my workouts in the gym. I like the fact that I can walk out here on the back deck when I have a day like today that is super packed and super busy and I can do my 15 minute workout. The flexibility to know that I can do you know, a gym based workout one day of the week and the other two days of the week that I'm doing my strength training workout, I can come out here and work out on my back deck and I can still maintain and continue to achieve my body shaping results. Same thing for you. I don't want DVDs, you can't use those in the gym. I know this, this is why this is a digital only program. I'm showing some screenshots to help you get an idea of what it is exactly that you are receiving and how you can best use it in the gym. No, they're not full follow along workout videos. That doesn't make any sense. What I have done is created these tutorials so that you can practice and be aware of the movements that you are going to be doing that are outlined in a 12 week progressively challenging workout plan giving you those resources that you can not just use to plan ahead, but if you need a reminder in between a move or right when you get to the gym, you're like, what do I do again? You can pull up that video very quickly and easily on your smartphone and take a look at it. This is not about following along with Holly and doing exactly what she does. This is following her guidelines and adapting it to where you are with your strength and fitness levels. These are simply resources to guide you. And yes, you have printable workout logs, which everybody should be using anyway to know what you're doing next and to follow along and track your progress. This concern, well, that looks like it's only for people who lift heavy weights. Yes, like I've explained. You have access to heavier weights, although I have Fit Yummy Mummies who take their current fat loss workout plans and do them in the gym. It's just now they have more of a comprehensive tutorial about how to use the equipment around them. If you are concerned about lifting heavier weights, we need to chat and that's a time for another video. Question, do you plan on making a product that adds curves to your body? Yes, and I have been doing that for the past five years now. Every single Fit Yummy Mummy workout plan that I design is created to help reshape and sculpt your body. The question becomes, are you challenging your body in order to make it change? Remember, curves are revealed and defined by lowering your body fat and increasing your lean mu muscle and to some extent your genetics. I mean, we all can't have a nice big round apple bottom booty. Some of us are blessed with that. Others, they're gonna work their tails off and they're gonna get a little lift, but it's never gonna be that big old 
<laughs> nice bubble if that's what you're after. Um, but you can shape your body to what your genetics are going to allow you to shape. Everybody's like, oh, Holly, I want your arms. What do I do to get your arms? I'm like, well, that's great. Thank you. But you can't have my arms, but you can have the best version of your arms. So if you have Fit Yummy Mummy, any one of my workout programs, not necessarily FYM in the gym, you can sculpt your body by making sure you're using challenging enough moves and weights. So once again, going back to if your body is not challenged, your body will not change. A concern came in about, I'm confused with all this body, body part training. I don't get that. Well, first of all, I don't train body parts. I train movement patterns. Always have, always will. This allows you to work out in a way that not only targets the muscle groups that matter most, but it allows you to get a workout in that is intelligent, purposeful, and balanced, which will only yield to more enhanced results. On the download page for FYM in the gym, yes, each exercise that I demonstrate, I said I have nearly 90 exercises, are categories based on movement pattern and then the type of equipment. I do this, like I said, so for ease of use for you, so you can quickly find the barbell front squat, and you don't have to search through a wide variety of other material. You go right to that video, you open it up, and you watch it. The other reason for that is because, yes, I provide you with an exact 12-week progressively challenging strength training workout plan. I also give you blank templates and workout plan format so that you can choose your favorite movement patterns and create a, an intelligent, purposeful, and balanced full body workout that is customized to your preferences and the equipment that you have available to you. So while this is a comprehensive done for you gym based workout plan, I'm also giving you the whole other aspect that you have the ability to create the exact workouts that you love to do. baseball fanatic. A comment was made about how disheartening it is to see that photo of me and to know that that's not achievable with the FYM resources that they currently have. If I may please point out that for my 40th birthday I had a photo shoot and that is one of the photos that came out of that photo shoot experience. So I set a goal to take my body, my body sculpting, my body shaping results to the next level um, in October of 2012 and celebrated with a photo shoot. FYM in the gym did not exist prior to that, even prior to a few months ago, and or a couple months ago, and uh, the workouts that I did to get photo shoot ready were actually Fit Yummy Mummy based workouts. It's called the Trouble Spot Solution. And I have documented what I've done in the forums of Club FYM, so I'm being true and honest about what I did. I just simply stuck to my workouts, made sure that they were more challenging, and I tend to skip interval training because when I'm just kind of maintaining, I don't really see the need to add it in. I, I stay active in other ways. So I made sure I stuck to my interval training workouts three days a week. And I really, really, really cleaned up my eating habits. So those photo shoot pictures that you see were not because I spent hours in the gym. They were because I spent probably 20 minutes with a, with a trouble spot solution workout because I add in finishers at the end of the workouts. Uh, so those are realistic. It's just a matter of the commitment that you're willing to make and are you willing also to increase the challenge of your workouts. So with that being said, I hope this brings some clarity to what FYM in the gym is all about. If new questions come up after watching this video, just leave a uh, comment in the area below and I will make sure to answer those questions as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe even make a new video. But I, don't, I did not create FYM in the gym to make anybody get upset. <laughs> I mean, it's just simply another resource that has been requested. So if you find that this fits your needs, great. Consider adding it to your fat loss toolbox. If price is a concern, there's a payment plan. Um, if you are not yet there, but you're excited about this, tuck it away because yes, it'll be on special again. So take some time to consider if this is something that you've been mulling over and do not hesitate to ask if you have questions. Obviously, I am here to help answer them.